Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Sunday and I have a few errands to run today but I want to do a sort of Sunday reset where I clean my apartment and I make everything look nice. It definitely shows in my home right now that I haven't been home a lot and when I have I've just quickly changed up what's in my suitcase and then I've been out the door. So I really want to take some time to thoroughly reset the apartment because I am not traveling for a couple of weeks, which I'm very excited about, to be honest. So I also have some recipes I need to do for a client today. But other than that, I will um, tidy up and clean. And I thought I wanted to show you guys the process of that, both the hopefully satisfying process of tidying up my place, but I'll also show you what I do in terms of sustainable cleaning. So I have to go and buy some groceries for the recipes I'll be making. So the first part of the Sunday reset, which for you guys will be a Monday reset because you'll be seeing this on Monday. I will need to do the weekly grocery shopping. Usually I do my farmer's market on Saturdays and Wednesdays. So that's where I'll get the majority of my produce. Today I'll just go to a bigger supermarket and get everything that I can there with as minimal packaging as possible. I'll see how that goes and I'll show you guys what I bought once I get back home. Okay. Quick and heavy trip to the grocery store. I am so warm, hence no shirt. But I got a few of the things that I needed. I don't have a lot of produce. I'll get more produce during the week. But this is what I need for the recipes today and just to get by the next few days. I'll also use things in my pantry the next few days, by the way. But this is what we have. We have a few things in plastic that I cannot find without and I was really craving this type of lettuce. I, I love this and it's impossible to find without packaging. So I um, also got a pizza that I'll have for lunch today. I've really been craving this. It's so nice. And then we have potatoes. I have some lemon, tomato, then I have some crisp bread that I'll be using for the recipe, oat milk, soy, vegan mayo, and a salsa that I love. And that comes in this great, great container that I can reuse. So I just saw like two birds, one stone, or two birds, one scone, as they say. I've been stressing about these two recipes for a few days now because I need to finish them both today. Luckily, we have light for hours and hours and hours, so it's not a problem. It's about 11 o'clock now, so I think I'll start slowly pacing myself, making my pizza now, because I'm quite hungry and I didn't have breakfast, so... Pizza breakfast! Let's do pizza and a little bit of cleaning. I'll also do my laundry and then I'll get into the recipes. So, laundry, pizza, pizza, laundry, laundry, pizza, okay. Welcome to my kitchen floor. Let's do some laundry here. So I have, one second, just gonna move this. It's gonna move this in front of me. I have clothes and towels, bed sheets from the past few weeks. I also just went to two festivals. I haven't done my laundry since. So we'll start by doing the docks. Now I have never been super meticulous when it comes to color sorting. I do my darker shades and I do lighter shades. Because most of my clothes is thrifted, it's been through several wash cycles already. So I don't really need to pay too much attention whether or not it's gonna transfer some color because the color that is, like the excess color has already been washed out many times. Emo life is definitely loading up your laundry on docks and then having like two pieces of light clothing that will just never get washed because like accumulating lighter shades is just like it takes a while. This is not laundry by the way. I wore this once. It's not a laundry make. And this is my laundry detergent. Now I simply rip off my laundry detergent sheet and I throw small bits in just wherever. And because we're feeling extra fancy I'm also adding a few drops of this essential oil specifically made for laundry. Now the kitchen isn't the biggest mess it has ever been, but I do have a few dishes that I'll need to put away in order to make room for the actual recipe development. Thank you. 
I previously had a lot more stuff on my kitchen counter right here, but I think I want to keep it a little bit more minimal so I can actually also use the electrical outlet right there. So I'll find a new place for this serving tray and this dish. And also my book. Just a little dishwasher talk as well. You can hear my laundry going in the background, but I hope that's okay. I just wanted to show you the dishwashing taps that I use in my dishwasher. So there are these ones from Kla. I don't have a specific affiliation with this brand, but I just saw that they came in a cardboard box. The taps are wrapped in a cellophane-based dissolvable film, which is pretty neat. I haven't had any issues with them. They clean my dishes just fine. So um, these are the ones that I use. Okay. Now I always have my cutting board out on my kitchen counter because I use it all the time. Fun fact, I actually found it in a dumpster and it is a beautiful piece of wood. I, I love this to bits. Actually, it's many pieces that sort of been fused together. Anyway, I found it in a dumpster. I looked it up online. It is easily, easily 100 euros. So I don't, I don't know. And yeah, it's always on my kitchen counter. I think my kitchen counter looks naked without it. So there we go, continuing to do the dishes because I also have some more delicate wine glasses that I never put in my dishwasher. I wash these by hand and I also wash all my wooden utensils by hand. This is one of the downsides to thrifting a lot of your stuff because the wood cannot go into the dishwasher, it will completely destroy it. Never put wood in your dishwasher. Um, so I'll wash these things by hand on the side and let them sun dry. It's very therapeutic but I am scared that I am going to break one of the glasses one day. I really hope I won't. Now, if you think dishwashing liquid is interesting, you're gonna love this next part because I just wanted to talk about the dishwashing liquid that I use. I usually use another one. I have also previously used bulk ones. I cannot find the ones that I usually get. I think they're discontinued. So until I figure out what to do, like what is the best possible course of action, I'm using this. It has some eco certifications. It's made from like the bottle is made from recycled plastic and it is recyclable again. That is the best that I could do in a normal grocery store. So I'll use this until I figure out what to do. I don't necessarily stand by this brand through thick and thin. I don't know them, but it was the best option at the supermarket. So anyway, I have my little pizza and um, the best way to cut this, in my opinion, is with scissors. So I'm going to add some of my lettuce i'm gonna add some cucumber and some dressing shushing it up a little bit maybe a little bit of spice i do have some sriracha as well so making it nice okay also have romaine lettuce cool uh, so i will hear no criticisms of this pizza i love adding lettuce to my pizza this is a staple in denmark i barely got started on the cleaning part but i'm taking a little break and i'll be back once I've finished my pizza. I actually share this dressing with my neighbors as well because they love it as well. Bone apple teeth, as they say. So to get started on the cleaning, I'll need my cleaning agent and some cleaning cloths. Alrighty. These are all thrifted or gifted, by the way. For my bathroom, I'm going to use my homemade cleaning agent. It is made with vinegar and orange peels. Some of these plants are absolutely fighting for their lives. I haven't tended to this in ages, so we'll need to fix that. And these ones definitely need water. There we go. Jesus. I haven't been the best plant mom lately. Welcome to my bathroom floor. I'm about to hang my laundry. This is my laundry rack. It's usually just in my shower. And whenever I need to shower, I just take it out. So. I mean, I don't have a lot of storage in this apartment, so this is what we're doing. I don't use my tumbler dryer. I do have one. I mean, my washing machine is sort of a combo with a tumbler dryer. 
but I don't use it mostly because it's super energy intensive so it requires a lot of power to actually use and I don't want that in my electric pool and I also don't want that for the environment. Also your clothing does not last as long when you tumble dry it because it takes a big toll on the fabrics of all. So I just hang them to dry and then I open my window and call it a day. That's it. Uh, another thing, and I've talked about these uh, many, many times, but just a quick shout out to my cleaning cloths or my cleaning rags. I have had some of these for years. My mum usually gives them to me. I love these, they're amazing. They're made from cotton, so in contrast to microfiber cloths or generally polyester cloths, they do not release microplastic when you use them. And they're much more durable, so these can last you years and years and years. So uh, yeah. This is uh, the ones that I use. Let's hang some clothes and then continue. I have a little bit of organization I want to do in the bathroom as well because I've just thrown everything onto a shelf or into its place, but it's very, very messy. So I want to make things look nice as well, but I am a little bit on a schedule today, but I do want to make my bathroom look nice. So let's do that as well. <laughs> I bought this antique candle holder a while ago. It's a beautiful find and I have not really been super sure where to put it, so now it's here in my bathroom. But I honestly really like the very extra vibes that it's giving. Let me know if you have any ideas to what to do with this, because right now it's just here. Like, this is, this, this is it. But I honestly think it's really fun. I finished the first recipe and it's... I'm not doing this. What is that? What? What is happening? I'm. I, you're good, homie. Okay. This is what I've been making. These are potato croquet, and I just boiled and mashed some potatoes, and then I fried them in a batter and coating using crisp bread. I added mayo and salsa on top, and it's just so good. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. I'm gonna save these two and uh, now we need to um, take a look at the bedroom because that is where the majority of my chaos currently resides. I have zero energy to do this, but let's go. Okay, so to just give you guys an extensive view of what I need to do in here, I have not tidied up in here in a long time. I need to go through what needs to go in the closet. I also have some receipts here I need to fix. Here more my laundry and just things everywhere so we'll need to fix that but I think I'll start by fixing the bed. Fixing. I need to change my clothes as well by the way because I just finished the um, first recipe I need to do the second recipe so I need to wear something different for that so but we'll I'll fix this first. Okay I usually actually make my bed every single day I don't know what happened recently um I forgot to do it. It's so inviting and just much more pleasant when your bed is made. Now, I don't need this blanket at all, um, but I like to use it anyway, simply just to add a little bit of extra flavor and fun. Um, but it's way too warm to actually use. By the way, my pillows are massive. I have two of these. Um, they are giving me hotel room vibes and I Love them. Can I just say that one of the upsides of not living with a man is that I don't have to explain to someone why black sheets is a no-go. It's awful. Now I just think I'm going to throw everything onto the bed and then sort through all of it. Woo! There we are. Okay, so um, I'll just go through everything. I don't think any of this is actually laundry. I just have tons of small things. Oh! Chopsticks, more sunglasses, perfect. So I recently went to the European Parliament. I brought a nice white shirt and I brought my black blazer. 
and I knew that would be a photo shoot one of the days. So I really wanted to wear something nice and formal so I could use those pictures for something, right? Then I misread the itinerary. So I ended up wearing a crop top, a crop top to the parliament. The photo shoot would be the day after if it wasn't. So that was nice. Um, so now I have official professional photos of me taken in the European Parliament in a crop top. But what are you gonna do, right? Anyway, that might actually be a very honest representation of who I am. We both do crop tops, we do battle vests, we do white shirts, we do Doc Martens and we do stilettos. We, you know, that, that's the game. Someone recently called me a chameleon and I feel like that's actually pretty accurate. So obviously there are some types of clothes that you do want to wash between every single wear. Uh, underwear comes to mind. Socks. I don't wash socks if after only one wear by the way, but I, you should sometimes. Sometimes I don't. Um, but so many pieces of clothes, like shirts, you can wear multiple times. Simply just air them out overnight, either outside with an open window, in your bathroom. If it's a shirt that has a tendency to wrinkle, I will recommend hanging it in your shower. Not in your shower, but in your bathroom while you shower. And the steam from your shower can really help to even out some of those wrinkles. But so much clothes can simply just be aired out and it will be perfectly fine to wear again the next day. So. I think when it comes to sustainable laundry routines, that is the most important thing to remember. Oh no, I forgot this. This should have been in the laundry as well. Oh, this is just the shirt I've been sleeping in for the last few days. Then... <laughs> that's, uh, that's my email sound, but that was really appropriate actually. Um, but then I sleep in this Yoda as Mr. Miyagi t-shirt. I love this. I don't have a lot of fun clothing like that. I don't really like graphic tees. Um, but. That one I, I really like. Shoes, they go out in the hallway. Um, so these receipts I'll need to save because you, because your girl has a business to run. All kinds of small things here, there we go. And I think that concludes it for the suitcase. Then I can put this away and I won't have to use it again for at least a few weeks. That excites me a lot really. So, okay, I usually just put it up here. There we are. Whenever I open this closet, it reminds me that I actually need to sort through everything and find new places for stuff, and I haven't done that. It's also not gonna happen today. So now I'm just going to tidy things up as much as possible, and I think that will be fine. So I just started out by taking all my accessories and just throwing them into the somewhat designated space that works for them but obviously there's a lot more that needs to get sorted here so uh, let's organize this now this is so much better look at that and down here i have all my scarves and gloves now i won't be able to store my rings this neatly for very long but it's so nice to have it like this for a few days at least and i especially love the sunglasses rack this is Oh! Little souvenir from the European Parliament. I was also recently featured in a Croatian magazine. It's all in Croatian, I don't know what it says, but I like to have it as a souvenir as well. Perfect. Here in the corner of the living room, I have the publications I've been published in, so of course we're gonna place this number in the shelf. This is not healthy for my ego, by the way. Now my living room isn't super messy, I just have some things here on the couch that I need to uh, sort away. But the living room is okay. We're gonna sort through this though. I continuously keep my laptop in the living room because I mainly work from the couch at the moment. I don't use my home office for actually sitting down and working. I use it for Zoom meetings and for a place to store my things, but then I do a lot of my editing either in the couch or in an external office, not here in my home. Also new outfit hoodies. I love this little Monet shirt and we have some vintage earrings going, so 
Okay, but very minimal. I also just have my chocolate from last night lying here and more jewelry, but I think that's basically it. And that was it. Now it's tidied up. So through the apartment I gathered all of these hair ties, so I'll put these away as well. But they just accumulate on their own, I feel like. During my everyday life I just toss them wherever I am in the apartment. So putting these away now. It's almost 7 o'clock and I finished the second recipe. I am a little bit in awe that I even did that because I've been very tired today. We did it, it was amazing, I'll show you. This is it. I made a little vegan tuna. I'm uh, simply just marinating some blanched tomatoes in sesame seed oil, soy sauce and nori sheets and then I place them on crisp bread with mayo and a little bit of green and some black sesame seeds. And they're really nice and fresh and tasty, love it. I uh, already had a few of them but I just texted my neighbors that please come and eat some of this food. But now I've filled up my dishwasher so it's the most energy efficient and, and I use the resource in the best possible way. Overall, on average, it actually requires less water to use a dishwasher than it does simply doing your dishes by hand, which is why I gravitate towards the dishwasher, because it's more water efficient than I can be with my hands. And that was it for my Sunday cleaning slash reset. I could also have vacuumed. Now it's a quarter to eight and I don't want to vacuum this late, especially not on a Sunday. I'm just really happy that I now feel like I have a more tidy space so I can do the best work that I possibly can tomorrow. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was uplifting and inspiring. At least if it motivated you to do some tidying yourself or to make just a little bit of a fun time out of doing the tidying and having fun while you do it. Now I am going to lay back on this couch and watch The Office. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys are gonna have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys helped me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!